Welcome back guys, my name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys a brand new video. Now today I'm going to do a mailbag for Town Hall 11. You guys have been sending me questions for a while so I picked a couple to put into a video and if you guys want to be featured on the next ma mailbag video just hit me up using the hashtag AskPat on Twitter or in the YouTube comment section below or on Facebook or Instagram. All the links are in the description. Let's go ahead and get right into the questions. So question number one is from Clash of Clans 202. So he asked, what are your thoughts on Town Hall 11? Will you hit the Town Hall upgrade button as soon as the update arrives? And the answer is yes. Of course, I'm going to upgrade to Town Hall 11 when it comes out, as well as get the new defense and the new hero and the new whatever else is going to be coming in this update because it seems like there's going to be a ton of stuff coming. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get all that stuff right away so I can show you guys as a YouTuber because, of course, you guys are going to want to see all the new stuff in action. And uh, as far as my thoughts on Town Hall 11, it's a little bit incomplete right now because we really know so little. But I do think Town Hall 11 was a little – was sort of – not required, but it made sense for the lifespan of the game to pro prolong it further with a another Town Hall level. Uh, hopefully the costs are okay for Town Hall 11 and it doesn't make it so you have to play for six years to max your base out naturally, but I think Town Hall 11 will be pretty cool and especially with some of the stuff that they haven't released yet, uh, it should shape out to be a pretty awesome update. So going to the next question from Will, shout out to the 703. He said, do you think the new defense will become too overpowered initially? Would this lead to all changed attack strategies? Well, I think the point of the new defense is actually to shake up the attack strategies that there are right now because the new defense's strength is really getting those high hit point troops that are clumped together uh, to be destroyed really, really quickly. Because again, even though the video in the video, this the new defense looks like it hits three tiles or like a range of three tiles at once, it actually only does that huge amount of damage in about a, a radius of like half a tile. So it's really just trying to break up those clump of giant troops. So seven golems might not be the most effective strategy anymore with this. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how people actually play around this defense. And uh, the defense is going to be a big priority target, especially because it takes... Uh, a certain number of troops for the defense to actually charge up. I I'm really fascinated to see how it works out. But again, I haven't had any chance to really test it out besides the videos that we've seen. We're going to have to see how it works out. But I feel like people are going to be creative enough to find creative enough to find a way around the defense. And uh, we'll see what happens with that new hero. And maybe the new hero will counter the defense. And that'll definitely help out a lot at Town Hall 11. So question number three from Perot, he asked, can we expect any more major game improvements from this next update besides Town Hall 11? So I'm pretty sure inside of the ClashCon talk that Jonas gave, he said that there was going to be multiple other things being brought into this game. So I would expect a bunch of other game improvements coming. Uh, I know for a fact there's some interesting tweaks that they're working on right now that would be pretty crazy and something that I'm a little bit excited about myself. So I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be disappointed if you're not a Town Hall 10 going to Town Hall 11. There looks like there's going to be some other changes to the game that, uh, yeah, I don't know. Nothing is finalized right now, but being at the Supercell office for the last two weeks and hearing these ideas, they throw around like 200 ideas a day, hearing some of the ideas that they have for the game are uh, pretty crazy. So I would expect something else coming to the game besides Town Hall 11, and uh, we'll have to see how that works out. Okay, so final question. This one is from Smogly. He said, hey, one of the Spanish dudes that rushed you for a pick at ClashCon, when do you think that there's going to be another ClashCon and where? I remember you. Thanks for taking a picture with me, man. And uh, for ClashCon, I would imagine there would be another one next year. And for me, like I mentioned in the broadcast, personally, I'd like it to be on a beach, but I would expect it to be somewhere like New York or London just because those are like places a little bit more, I guess, uh, I don't even know. They're a little more populated than Helsinki and a little bit easier to get to. Uh, so I think probably something like that where they can get a bigger venue, where they can get a majority of their players to come to. I would feel like there's going to be one next year. And my guess realistically would be New York or London. Uh, but if I wanted somewhere amazing, I'd pick somewhere like Hawaii or the Maldives or something like that. So yeah, that's going to do it for this mailbag. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have a question, again, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or the YouTube comments section, and uh, I'll try to post one next week, and uh, feel free to ask me any more questions. That's going to do it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.